Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another video. Um, this time I'm kind of just going on a little POV drive, trying out a different camera angle. Um, I tested it earlier. It looks a little shaky, but I think you guys can hear me a little bit better over the noise. Uh, but I didn't get quite up to the speed that I normally would. So we're going to test that as well today. Um, and it may go for a little drive down some curvy roads um, after I get back from work tonight. We'll end up seeing what happens. <clears throat> yeah, I found a really nice curvy road that I like. Um, it is right behind my work. Not sure how long it'll take me, how long this video is going to be, but this is just a quick little drive to work. I might cut out a little bit, you know, try out some editing, but traffic is pretty bad right here. Um, so yeah, I'll get, I'll get back to you guys when I get on the main highway and we figure out where we're going so we can test the sound and everything. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys there. All right, so we're about to hop on the uh, on Highway 280. So we'll see how things go. Um, let me turn the AC off. Yeah, it's getting pretty warm here. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But maybe we won't get up to highway speeds today. So it's a bad test. Oh uh, yeah. Perfect timing onto the highway. Didn't mean to kind of cut that Tesla off, but they got quite a while to go before it merges, so I don't feel too bad about it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just testing this new format out. Um, it's the same kind of mount that I have been using. I just put it in a different location. Um, it's up on my rear view mirror now. But um, I just think with it being closer, the microphone will do better and you guys still get the view, uh, maybe even a little better than before. I still have it kind of like at the wide angle lens shot, whatever. Um, I can adjust that. I'm just, just starting out, so I'm still testing some things. I've only got this one camera, so I can't mess around too much, um, or at least as much as I would like to. But I have been wanting to do like a exterior mount kind of maybe put it on my hood um but like a microphone in the engine bay um, but i'm gonna wait for the uh the break-in period to end for the clutch so i can really kind of hammer on it when i do that but like i said earlier i'm still going to be trying to do some like uh back roads curvy roads driving later tonight and i'll try and get that um recorded for you guys as well now we're picking up some speed So I hope you guys have been enjoying these videos, enjoying your days. Um, I've not been doing a whole lot recently. Um, I was supposed to have an exam today. Got canceled because the power was out due to construction. Um, and I've kind of just been laying around the rest of the day. But I'm thinking about, um, I was in the car earlier. If you saw on my steering wheel, I got that black, um, it's an OEM part, um, instead of the silver on my steering wheel. And I was looking around and I see they sell like a whole entire set and I'm thinking about getting those and showing you guys how to replace those. It's pretty easy. Um, it's just the door trim, the vent trim, the trim that goes around the shifter. They even sell the uh, VSC and stability control buttons traction control I don't know which one that is um, but yeah um, I'll also be trying to get like um, some videos up on how to drive manual um, I've gotten a lot better at it in just the past uh, five six days I think it's been um, which I'm thankful for you know hopefully I won't wear up my clutch um, too much this time around like I said in the last video with this uh, OEM, you know, not heavy weight, but normal weight flywheel, uh, it's a lot smoother, it's a lot better. Um, I don't really notice a difference. 
uh, between this and the lightweight flywheel I had um, except it was a lot rougher there was a lot more gear noise and everything and I don't know if that was due to the clutch itself or potentially due to the flywheel but I'm enjoying how it's riding now it's a lot smoother um, it's a lot easier it still holds the power presumably I haven't had any slipping issues but I haven't necessarily been able to get on it as much but this is what it's like to drive in Birmingham around 7 8 in the morning and then again at 4 or 5 in the afternoon you know pretty normal rush hour traffic um, you know I grew up in Atlanta so it's not necessarily as bad as that but it's still pretty bad in my opinion but I am gonna go ahead and head to work I got a short little shift um, and I will see you guys afterwards and we'll just go around some nice little curvy roads all right hey guys just got back off work I am headed to that nice road now um, just gonna give you a quick little update let my car warm up and then I'll head over and resume the recording then all right so we're about to get on this road um, my car is all warmed up and everything for the most part I'm not gonna go speeding down it it's night and it's like my second time going down the road but it is exceptionally fun um, yeah I just found it the other day um, some sketchy parts on it but it shouldn't be too bad I don't even know if you guys can see super well or hear super well but yeah one as I was saying sorry it's being kind of loud I got stuff in my cup holders as I was saying once I get my clutch broken in um, and I find a, a good mount to use. I'm gonna put a mount up front and get a microphone for the engine bay so you guys can get some nice noises. Um, but I think for now, I'm just gonna end the talking part here. I might do a little voiceover later, but I'll just let you guys enjoy. Um, let me know what you guys think about this view, um, about the format of the video and everything, what I can improve upon and whatnot. Um, but take it easy, I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.
was just gonna leave this part quiet. Um, but I think instead of doing like a voiceover, I'll just speak now about that. I'm still learning the limits of my car. And, you know, I'm not sure how fast I can take a turn or any of that. So I'm, I'm learning with you guys. So if you see anything, um, you know, I know I was braking when I didn't really need to, braking too early, braking too much. Um, you know, those are all things I know I can work on. Um, I just, I don't do it for the speed. I just like, um, you know, this car, it handles amazing. Um, you don't need to be going fast for it to feel like a fun ride. Um, you know, at night, it feels like you're going much faster than you are anyways. I think I only hit about 60 miles an hour. Um, I was taking some of those turns, you know, 45, 50 miles an hour, which is like the fastest I've ever taken a turn before. So, you know, I'm, I'm sitting here, you know, clinching, um, but it was still a fun experience and I want to keep going. You know, nothing too illegal. I'm not going to go street racing, drifting down that road or anything. Um, you know, but, it's just, I, I just hope you guys understand that this is new to me, and um, I hope you don't harp on me too much, but I appreciate if you guys watched all the way through, um, if you have any comments, like I said, just leave them in, you know, down below in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time.